So we're out here at Rafa's garage. Today we're working on my girl's car. Um, we gotta beat the system and I believe we gotta go swap one of these hoses. What happened was the car overheated. One of this broke from somewhere right here and it leaked all the coolant had air in it and it overheated so right now this actually has tap water and i don't like that so we're gonna flush it out and put distilled water and yeah call it a day so i'm gonna get to it take one of these hoses out go to autozone get one that's a little longer just in case it ever happens again she could just cut it um, probably gonna buy new clamps because these clamps you know are too big for these and I don't think they're really you know holding it on real good so I'm just gonna get smaller clamps meant for this size of hose and bleed the system Thing I'm replacing it because look at that sorry cracking over here too so this is gonna get air in there leak all that stuff and then we're probably gonna have another overheating issue so I'm gonna go to AutoZone real quick and get another hose for this and um, let's they used the wrong hose because this one's a fuel injection system so fuel vapor so need to get a coolant one that's probably why it cracked so let's go real quick and then later on i'll fix all this once i put everything back together and bleed the system uh, so i already went to autozone bought the hose for it I'm gonna bring it in so it's nice and cool in here inside and work on it. Start bleeding it out. Here's the hose. I bought some new clamps for it because the ones before were ugly. So, place this one real quick. I'm gonna put everything back together, put the coal there back in, bleed the system, and call it a day for now. Hose is already on. It's right here. This one right here. Connected to this one right here. Lift up the car because I'm going to disconnect this one right here to drain the coolant and bleed the system. Makes it easier when it's lifted up. So I already put the hose back. Now I just gotta fill it up, bleed it out, and call it a day. Now 
while this starts getting warmed up i'm probably gonna put the ecu back the cold air intake on and the cf stuff that i used to have like the little cover here and the ecu so i'm gonna do that real quick and watch the temperature while i'm doing this So there it is it's already done just gotta drop it down go for a little test drive and make sure it doesn't overheat um looks like it's bled already but still want to go for a test run i'm gonna clean up the garage a little bit because i dropped some coolant and i don't want it to be sticky so that's what i'm gonna do right now All done cleaned up gotta go for a test drive and I'll let you guys know